Hey guys, it's Tyler from Nelly Security, and in today's video, I'm going to show you how to integrate your AccuVox intercom with your current access control system. This is really fast and easy to do, and as long as your access control system takes a Wiegand input, you shouldn't have any issues. So let's go ahead and jump right in. The first thing we need to do is set up our intercom to function as a Wiegand output device. What this is gonna do is allow us to use the card reader on the intercom as a Wiegand card reader for your access control system. Now, when we initially set up the intercom like this, you are going to have to have it connected to your network. However, if you need to take it off of your network later, you totally can, but we'll talk about that here in a couple minutes. So once you have your intercom connected to your network, go ahead and log into the web interface with the default username and password, admin admin. I'm not gonna go over setting up this intercom in general because we have a whole other video explaining that, which you can find down in the links below. For now, we're just going to head into the intercom section and click on the advanced menu. From here, we can find this option, which we can see by default is set to Wiegand input. That means your card reader is listening for Wiegand data from another source. We just need to set this to Wiegand output so that it can send the data to your access control panel. Once we've done that, we are good to go and ready to start wiring. Now, here is a typical wiring diagram for the AccuVox intercom. This is what we looked at in the last video. However, when we are using this as a Wiegand device, we're going to set this up a little bit differently. For this, we are going to need four wires, our DC 12 volt wire, a ground wire, as well as our two Wiegand data wires. However, keep in mind that this panel does support power over ethernet, PoE. So if you are powering this with an ethernet cable, you don't have to wire it up with the 12 volt. All you would need to do in that case is connect the ethernet cable and the ground wire, and then the two Wiegand wires. Now that we have this all wired into the intercom, let's take a look at our access control panel. And again, this might look different if you have a different brand. For a ZK Teco Atlas panel, this is what it's gonna look like. We've got our four wires in here for the reader. This is going to the DC 12 volt and the ground wire. And then under that we have D0 and D1. These are the green and the white wires that we installed over at the intercom. Once we have this wired, we are pretty much done. Your AccuVox intercom now functions as a generic card reader for your access control system. Let's go test this out. So for this example, I have a proximity card that is not registered with my access control panel. You can see I scan it. As you would expect, nothing happens, the door doesn't open, no access has been granted. Now in the second example, this card has been registered in the access control system. It has been assigned a user, and as you can see, the door opens and I can walk right in. Now keep in mind for this scenario, it does not matter if you have the card registered in the AccuVox system because it's not actually the AccuVox intercom that is controlling access. It is strictly the access control panel. Now, we do recommend that you keep your intercom connected to your network because if you are wanting to use this intercom as a card reader for your access control system, it's likely because you want to take advantage of some of those smart intercom features, either answering your intercom from your smart monitor or from your smartphone. If you don't have it connected to the network, you won't be able to do any of that. It will be just a blank card reader at that point. But just in case you do want to take this off of your network, let me go ahead and show you how that's done. First of all, you can see if I unplug this from my network, the LED light starts blinking red. That simply means the intercom is offline. However, you'll also see that I can still use this card and I can still walk in the door just like normal. However, it is gonna get annoying seeing that blinking red light, so we can easily fix that in the intercom interface. Let's go ahead and reconnect it back up to the network and hop back in the web interface. For this, we're going to go to intercom and LED control. You can see in this menu that we have offline set to red and blinking on and off for 1500 milliseconds. Uh, all we have to do is change this color to blue and change the blink mode to always on. Now, once we disconnect this from the network, uh, it's just going to remain a blue solid light, just as if it was connected to our network. Let us know in the comments down below if you are planning to use AccuVox with your access control system. If you have any questions at all, leave those down below in a comment, or you can call us and email us anytime. We're always happy to help you guys out. 
Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If it was helpful for you, please give it a like. And if you are into security, whether it's access control, uh, alarm panels, video surveillance, feel free to subscribe to this YouTube channel and follow us across social media so you never miss another video. Happy installing and I will see you in the next video.